Hello guys, Paul Stu here, and today is going to be my first tutorial video for this new schedule. Um, I'm really liking the new schedule uh, so far, and I'm really excited for these tutorials so I can teach you guys stuff, and on the way I'm going to learn some stuff. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, your very own Minecraft mod pack. I know a lot of people that want to make their own mod pack, but they really don't know how, and it's... Um, and if they find like a tutorial video, it's a little bit difficult. So um, today I'm going to show you like a really easy way, um, and then maybe later on in the future I'll go more in depth and like show you uh, some different stuff. But uh, all you want to do is go in the description, and you'll find a link to this program called Crafton uh, Terminal. And so it's Crafton.de, as you can see right that there. It's going to be in the description below. Um, but I'm going to be doing this with you guys on like through it uh, so I like deleted the program and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it from scratch um, so yeah just go to crafting.de and then you'll see uh, this little tab on top called terminal you click terminal and uh, so basically what this is is a program with a whole bunch of minecraft versions in it and it comes preloaded with a whole bunch of mods that you can use um, doesn't come with like every mod obviously because that's gonna be like way too much but uh, if you want to download like any mods that are not on here, it's pretty easy. Uh, so I'll teach you that after I show you this. But all you do is just this free download. Uh, and it says the download will begin shortly. And uh, like you, as you can see, it's downloading right now. So once it's done downloading, just click on it and, and it's going to start a, a little uh, setup. So you just click next, next, next next uh, I'm gonna create a desktop icon and then install okay so after it installs which this is very easy to do like um, it yeah it's very easy so then uh, you'll see two new icons ones join our server I just delete that one and then uh, the other one is the main craft and terminal program so then you click on the program and it's really easy from here it's really um, like straightforward so all you do is just like go on the top and you'll see like a couple of different tabs and you can click minecraft versions so then once you click minecraft versions it will show a whole bunch of versions on the side now um some of the versions don't have any mods like uh this one does but like one point okay that one does too okay, it's to go to like 1.7.9 yeah so 1.79.9 just came out so obviously there's no mods for this um, so like the one that you want to go to is like 1.7.2 or 1.6.4 that's the one that has like the most mods I would recommend 1.6.4 right now um, because it comes preloaded with a whole bunch of mods so then all you do is right here you'll see all mods and then you um, can click any mods and then you press this add button now some of them uh, need forge so all you gotta do is just go down to forge and add forge uh, so like if I wanted to add what which one do you need forge in? Uh, I think it will say on the side if you'll need forge okay yeah so this one requires forge right here so all you gotta do is just like add this and then oh yeah it, it automatically goes down to the forge so um, all you have to do is just like add any mods you want let's say I want that um, mo creatures morph uh, and opti fine because if your thing lags and then um, yeah so that's all you gotta do and then on the side you'll see change version and then start minecraft all you would have to do just click change version it will put all the mods that are right here and then you can start the minecraft now if you want to save this pack all you gotta do is uh, create a mod pack so let's say I wanted to make this a mod pack uh, I would select the picture for it and then put in the description uh, tutorial um, mod pack Okay, then I would say where to uh, save it. I would put it on my desktop. Name it. Sorry, that's probably really loud for you guys. Um, and then it would go on your desktop, and all you would have to do is just go back into the crafting terminal, load a mod pack, go to this one, open, and okay it. And then it will just put all the selected mods uh, you have right here. So it's actually really easy, and then you just, like I said, click Start Minecraft, and it will start the Minecraft for you. 
uh, obviously I need to log in but I'm not going to show you all that it really works so it's a, this is just a really easy way to do it um, so to add mods if you like if you can't find a mod you want in here all you would have to do is just go to your browser and go to Google and uh, you can see that all you have to do is just type in any mod let's say uh, lucky blocks okay so I would click I would put lucky blocks one or block mod 1.6.4 and I would just download it, find a find a download, and all I would have to do then is just go to percent app data after you made your mod pack, percent app data, percent, and then go to dot Minecraft, and you'll see a mods folder in here, right here. Uh, so like as you can see, I added all these mods into this, and then all you would have to do is just drag the mod you downloaded into the mods folder, and it's that easy. It really is. Now. Um, I could get more in depth with it, but I think this is gonna work. This is just like a little starting tutorial for your people who don't know about this program. People who want to just make a quick mod pack. Uh, maybe they don't want like a lot of mods in it and just want to put a couple of mods in their Minecraft. Um, that's what I do sometimes and just play around with them. So you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to get more in depth in, in it. You guys can just leave a comment and I'll do it on my next tutorial Tuesday or tutorial Wednesday or some other day. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.